My name is Geoffrey Hinton. I'm an Emeritus Professor of Computer Science at the University of Toronto, and I'm also um, the Chief Scientific Advisor for the Vector Institute. So we're now at a point where the technology is working far better than anybody ever expected at this stage. We have these big chatbots that appear to have human-like intelligence, and I think they really do have human-like intelligence. Um, nobody expected that by this stage. We thought it would be much further off. I was very surprised at how quickly we got these chatbots that knew everything. They were as good as a not very good expert on every topic. It happened because we got a lot of data, the whole internet, the whole publicly available internet. We got a lot of compute power and it turned out that training big neural networks on enough data with enough compute power allows them to become very clever. They learn how to represent the data in much the same way as the brain does. They represent words as activations of features where each brain cell is a feature. They learn the knowledge expressed in sentences by learning interaction between features. They don't store any sentences, but if you ask them something, they can generate sentences by repeatedly predicting the next word. And it turns out that works amazingly much better than people thought it would. I don't believe there's anything about us that can't be modeled in a machine, um, including things like subjective experience and consciousness. The kind of data we feed it is very important. And if you want AI that aligns with human values, you need to feed it data about showing behavior that exhibits those values. My main hope is to get people to understand more about what AI is and how it works. And then a secondary hope is to get them to understand more about the risks and that we need to do something about the risks.